What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? This your boy, Lightless Fame Prince, and you—you oh, <laughs> you here? You involved? I'm going Why? Like, don't leave, don't leave me. You ain't on camera. Don't worry about it. But she shy. She camera shy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But what I'm going to say is if you're watching this video around children, please remove them from your immediate vicinity because your videos, as I say all the time, 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 and time again, they're not for children. The reason why I'm doing this upload is basically because I'm going to be in surgery on the 7th, so I'm not going to be doing uploads for probably a better half of the month of July. So... It is what it is, but get this recipe. Now, for people who doubt what I have to say in regards to what I say in regards to UCC, and once I actually come back on the upload, maybe later on sometime today, I want to talk about the UCC. No one talks about that, but that I just want to get it to this point. Now, a lot of people basically have asked... Um, in the past, and I want to clarify this for people who basically want to get a little bit of interpretation on it. But here's the thing. I ain't gatekeeping. If you want to know it, get the series. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Get the series. And a lot of people were asking me about remedies for fraud in regards to any entity. You know, and... I'm going to read it from the law standpoint, not giving my opinion, not giving my bias. This is what it reads as follows. It says, subsection 2-721, remedies for fraud. Remedies for material misrepresentation or fraud include all remedies available under this article for non-fraudulent breach. Neither rescission nor claim of rescission of the contract for sale nor rejection or return of good shall bar deemed be inconsistent with the claim for damages or other remedy. Who can sue third parties for injuries to goods? Subsection 2-722, where a third party so deals with goods that have been identified for contract for sale as to have actionable injury. Subsection A, a right of action against the third parties, either neither party to the contract for sale who has a title of goods or a security interest. Notice what it says, a security interest. So let me pause before I go further. That means that anyone who actually, if you took out a loan, let me let me simplify it. If you took out a loan and someone says that they filed a UCC-1 against that loan, this applies to you. Let's go further. Or insurable interest to the goods. If the goods have been destroyed or converted, a right of action is also to the party who either bore the risk or lost under the contract for sailor has since the injury assumed that risk against the other. Let's go further. Admissibility of market quotations. Subsection 2-724. Whenever the prevailing price or parts, excuse me, price or value, pardon me, it's just braces, it's fucking me up. <laughs> I'm going to start from the beginning. Whenever the prevailing price or value of any goods so regularly bought and sold in any established commodity market is issued, reports in official publications of trade journals or in newspapers, periodicals, or general circulation published as reports in such market shall be admissible as evidence. A circumstance of the preparation of such a report may be shown in effect of its weight, but not its admissibility. Which means anything that's equivocated to you in regards to that can never be held against you. And that's in less than five minutes. Simple as that. 
You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Like I said, we could talk about leases and everything in regards to that. Get the book. Don't take my word for it. I give it to you just like that. Get the book. Now, normally they run about $100 a piece. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> get rich, piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? Get rich, piece of paper. Get rich, piece of fiat. But this is what I quote unquote tell people is invaluable. Invaluable. Because this is your material that you need to take with you when you deal with these individuals who try to take you to court. Or who try to take you to court in some type of action and try to secure a judgment against you. This is one of the reasons why I emphasize upon people becoming a secure party creditor. Because once you're a secure party creditor, no judgment against you can be valid. And that's why I say in the first instance, against fraud. <laughs> it's just that simple. I know a lot of people might... You know, say in the comment section, you know, they don't understand or anything. Don't take my word for it. Read up. Study the material. Get it for yourself. You'll see exactly what I'm saying. Don't make these people believe, quote unquote, in your, in your, in your own interpretation that they're basically, they, their law can do whatever they want. No the fuck they can't. The law does whatever you allow it to do. That's what the law does. It's just that simple. If you don't have no consent, there's no contract, there's no case, there's no judgment that can be obtained against you, and there's no monetization against your case. I said it in previous video before. You can put a lien on your case. You can actually file a lien against the individual who actually made a judgment on your case because what they did was they basically wanted to monetize the case and appoint themselves as the beneficiary. So this is the truth. Straight. But like I said, don't take my word for it. Read it up. <laughs> don't take my word for it. Read up. Study up. Notice. It says supplemental. So if it doesn't say supplemental, it ain't the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And I try to tell a lot of people when it comes down to the certain knowledge and aspects of this, a lot of information that's put out there on the website of anywhere you look at is disinformation. That's one of the reasons why here I am. Still sitting here putting videos up close to nine years later and people still feel not their UCC went wrong. Disinformation. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. It's disinformation. It's trying to keep you away from securing yourself in your respective commercial capacity. Straight. You know, agents gonna always talk shit. But I'm not worried about that because it is what it is. They're going to always do what they do. What you over there doing? <laughs> I would put my sidekick on camera, but... She would be very upset. Huh? She would be very upset. Oh, really? Dang, you would be very upset? Very. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? One, two... I wasn't going to do it. I was, I was just playing with you. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but anyway, you can sue individuals for fraud. Anybody that has a loan, anybody that has a credit card, anything in regards to that, anybody that has IRS notices, yes, I'm talking to them bitches too. Anyone that has that stuff, you can get on their ass for fraud. Don't take my word for it, but like I said, read up on it. You'll get it. See, the thing that people don't understand, they don't interpret or understand or overstand in regards to that matter is the fact that redemption is to keep you alleviated from being <sighs> fucked over <laughs> in simple terms from the system. That's what it is. System is designed to fuck you over. 
You know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot of people that, you know, they want to they wanna embrace upon that path and do whatever they want to do. But at the same token, it's designed to fuck you over. Period. It's designed that way. But redemption means redeeming yourself from getting fucked over. That's truth. <laughs> it's to keep you away from that shit. You like, okay, I know better. Now I know I ain't gonna fuck with these people. Now I know I could I could take out loans. I know how to discharge loans. I know how to discharge cases. Now you, you harm somebody, you do something to somebody's property, ain't nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. Your ass going to the shit can, straight up. You going to jail. Your ass going to jail, straight. Because that's the way that they gonna look at it. And you ain't gonna win in no jury trial if you hurt somebody or their property. You know what I'm saying? So don't. Don't try to don't try to assert this. Like a lot of people I've noticed in the past have done this. They have basically tried to use this process in regards to criminal proceedings. And, and, and criminal, I'm telling you right now, in Superior Court, your ass is in the shit can. <laughs> if you did a, you did a harm against somebody property, period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Telling you, you could you could talk all that jurisdiction, morals, nationality, all that shit you want. I'm telling you right now, the bailiff's gonna sweep your ass smooth up out that courtroom just like they did in Apollo. <laughs> Straight up, you gone. But if you don't do nothing, it's a victimless crime. It's a different story. Traffic tickets, child support. Like I even said this to the people before, whether people believe it or not, child support is voluntary. The only reason why child support even affects most men, and I'm going I'm to drop this gem, it affects most men, is because you keep using a TIN number, which is a, S, a SSN. That's one of the reasons why they keep garnishing your wages. It's all, it's all accounting. It's voluntary. Most of that money don't even go to your children. That money goes to the Judiciary Retirement Fund in any state you live in. And I just dropped that gem just like that. It goes to the judges. <laughs> that shit don't go to your kids. Child support is voluntary, just like taxation, because it's all related to the IRS. You're welcome. So all you have to do is send a notice into the court and file it on public record and say that you don't wish to consent in regards to a contract. Yeah, a woman can go file for child support, but you voluntarily consent because you still use a TIN number. Now, I know it's a lot of good dudes out there that, you know, they take care of their children or whatever, but I'm just letting you know that's what it's used for. It goes to the Judiciary Retirement Fund. Boom. <laughs> and where it go to? You don't go to your kids at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Not at all. Every one of them last proceedings that you go through with child support, I'm telling you right now, they're basically taking it and they're putting it as they nest egg. Now, I know a lot of people don't talk like this bluntly on social media in regards to this stuff, but I'm just letting you know. Do your research. Check your local state registry. Check all that. Do your research. Don't take what I have to say for a grain of salt if you disagree with what I'm saying. But that's what they do. You'll find out eventually if you do your research diligently. You do your research diligently. Straight. You'll find out. Straight. It's all connected to the nexus between the social security number and your ass. <laughs> That's the truth. Straight. People are gonna be becoming sexy talking shit and whatever. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't even got time. I'm thirty five fucking years old. I ain't got time to be arguing about it. <laughs> But that's the truth. 
understand what I'm saying in, in the method of the speech in which I'm saying. It's about fraud. Once you underline what fraud is in the Black's Law Dictionary, get a highlighter. Study it 10 times a day, whether you might not believe it or not. It, it stands out boldly. Boldly. And that's your remedy. Your remedy is to right the wrong. It's to correct the wrong. That's your job. If you don't want to correct the wrong, nothing I say even matters. Because one thing I know for sure and two things for certain when people deal with the court system, <clears throat> they find it a very intimidating place. <clears throat> very intimidating. They do. And then when they go into court, they, they learn all this stuff and then they, they, they get all this information, but they don't apply that shit. Information is just as good as a book on a shelf. It's there, but if you don't apply it, it ain't no good to you. Be <laughs> You got anything you want to say love? Huh? It is what it is. <laughs> Peace, light, love. Like I said, um, for people who have emailed me, <clears throat> who have emailed me uh, in the previous few days, pardon me for my delay because. As you can see, I'm going through my little scenario in A major. It's just uh, um, contact me before the seventh. If you can contact me before the seventh, that's fine. But right after the seventh, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Once they take these screws out of my mouth, it is what it is. I gotta rest, to relax. I gotta go through this shit all over again. So pardon me for my delay, but if you contact me immediately before the seven, notice what I'm saying, before the seven, what's today's date? It's the second. <laughs> so basically before the seven. So you got five days. If you don't hear from me in five days, don't feel bad. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody hating on you. I'm just keeping it real. Contact me before the seven. That means on the day of the seven, I am not going to contact you. I'm not going to be available. I made it plainly clear for any agents, any bees, anybody what come against me. Before the seven. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Take this information for what I said and do your research, do your due diligence, and stop letting the world affect you in such a way that you think that you don't have enough time to do your research. You do. Y'all truck drivers, y'all know y'all be riding around the country. Y'all can read. People that work in offices, y'all can read. <laughs> Hell, get an audio book. <laughs> Apply this shit. Don't just sit here and let it don't don't let it fly past you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and you know a lot of people be trying to sit here and talk about guru. I ain't no motherfucking guru. <laughs> I'm me. I'm a person who was endowed with the knowledge and wisdom that my creator gave me to basically say, hey man, you better spit this to the people. The ones that want to seek the truth. I ain't no damn guru. Hell yeah, nah, you ain't going to see me in no robe at all. I don't even wear a robe around the house. I like it when I'm home alone. I walk around. Never mind. <laughs> I think I was about to tell her myself. <laughs> I walk around naked. I 
I don't care. Straight up. <laughs> but I ain't no guru. I'm just a man in a shell for now. Just give you the give you the real. It's not no game. People say give you the game. Ain't no game. I'm giving you the rules to the game, not a game. Mm. But apply it. A lot of people say they don't have time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got enough time. But here's the thing. When it comes to people that say they don't have enough time. As my dad told me before he passed away, rest in peace, dad love him. But if you procrastinate, it ain't a priority. If you're hungry, you're going to eat. But if you procrastinate on being hungry, you're going to stay hungry. That's the way it works. You got time. Just need to know how to manage it wisely. Because one thing I will tell you for sure, as the days get evil, and they keep getting evil every day, worse and worse, you got time. But now is the time. Now. Don't wait till later. Don't wait till it get bad. <laughs> now. Will you cut this video off? Go research what I said. <laughs> now. Don't wait. It gets worse. My bad, I'm making a mess of myself. Pardon me, my job. <laughs> Now's the time. Peace, light, love. Talk to y'all later. I'm finna get on this call of duty. I ain't playing. It's double XP weekend. <laughs> Say bye, Latoya. Goodbye. Damn, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'm going to go get... Take the shirt off, but... Y'all stay tuned. Agents, man, fuck you. It is what it is. See y'all soon. Stay tuned for UCCC.